Howdy. Oh, I'm tired. So this morning I got up early. I ran down to the beach and look what I caught. Cut a nice redfish. Anyways, uh, my neighbor's installing wood floors over there, so if you hear a saw in the background, that's what it is. Uh, let's talk about bamboo. I told you guys I'd make this video, and real simply, I'll just keep it short. There's two types of bamboo. One is your standard bamboo, which grows very aggressively through runners. So it has rhizomes, and it grows aggressively, and it just goes everywhere. I've had friends in Northeast Georgia that have had regular bamboo, and I mean they have an area that's 40 yards deep and probably 500 yards long. It's just crazy. If you're going to plant regular bamboo, you almost have to in-ground or above-ground containers to keep that from growing and spreading. However, there's another type of bamboo. It's called clumping bamboo, and it doesn't spread so aggressively. It spreads some, but it doesn't spread so aggressively. Now, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to plant this wrong. You're supposed to plant this clumping bamboo at least, I would say, at least four feet apart. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to overcrowd this one area to make it a real thick, super thick privacy uh, wall because of um, the neighbor's house. It's the only neighbor we really have. So I'm planting it too close, I know. Um, I'm only maybe, maybe 36 inches apart. Now, I ordered this stuff online. Um, I'll try and find a link to their website, put it down below. This particular brand, I believe it's called Seabreeze, and it is a clumping. But one of the things you have to understand about bamboo is you also need to look at the cold tolerance. This has a cold tolerance down to 18 degrees, which is perfect. And it'll grow in sun, moderate sun, or even partial shade. So when you look at your bamboo, look at those factors when you're choosing it. Um, I ordered it online, it came in, the plants all look great, um, and I'll take you out back, just a real quick video showing me planting it, so hold on. Man, I got so many butterflies back here, sorry, <laughs> concentrate doc. Uh, I told you in the last video I had some bamboo plants coming in, being shipped here, and I'd show them to you, so I've been working all day long, so I got up at 5.30 this morning, been going non-stop, it's about 2.30. I said, I'm gonna sit down and rest for a few minutes and guess what pulls up? The FedEx truck. <laughs> the problem is, is these are a day late. So that means that these plants have been boxed up for an extra day, so I need to get them open. So if you order plants, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open them, get them out of the box, stand them up. Uh, if they need water, water them. But let me show you what it looks like. So if you wanna know where I ordered these, I ordered them from Wilson Brothers Gardens. And I believe it's actually a Georgia company because they have 770 area code. It doesn't necessarily spread so aggressively. So you can plant this and not have it get out of control. But this still will grow 25 to 30 feet tall. So it's a good, you know, the hell with you neighbor. <laughs> I'm planting some bamboo. The problem we have because we're 900 feet from the beach obviously is um, we have, when I dig down, we basically have oyster shells and sand. So that's what I'm planting in right there. So I have, uh, I don't have any dirt booster, otherwise I'd for a dirt booster right now. I'm just adding potting soil in here. The bamboo will grow in sand, but I do want some organic matter in there. Here. And so the best way to do this that I have learned And it's actually does really well for coastal areas. You can see it has a nice light leaf to it. Real pretty leaves. Green stalks, green and yellow stalks. Because I have such crappy soil, I'm digging the hole probably three times larger than the pot. And I'm mixing a little bit of the natural sand in with this potting soil. Then I'll plant it with this potting soil. A little bit of the sandy soil. Just mixing it in. Just like that. 
because I get some drainage through here, I don't want this deep. I actually want it level with the soil, so I don't want it too deep. So the last thing I do before I water these I'm going to go grab some double kill, um, which is a bug killer. And why is that? Anytime you have plants shipped into your location, I always like to take a little bit of the duo side double kill, throw it in there, and then water it in, and you'll knock out any, um, any imported insects and bad bugs that you don't want in there. And I actually saw a little white worm. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to go ahead and put some double kill down. We'll mulch these, we'll stake them. They should grow up great. I'll show them to you, I don't know, maybe next year. So, the bamboo's all done. Uh, I'm about to go out front, put down another coat of green chalker. I'm putting it down every week right now. If you don't have any, get your green chalker. I'll show you the bamboo probably, oh, in a couple of months, I'll show you what it looks like. It's progression as it grows up, but it's gonna make a really nice, I really like this stuff, it's gonna look nice. Hardwood floors going in. <laughs> so anyways, guys, a uh, bunch more videos coming out. Hit subscribe and talk to you later.